Hi, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk to you a little bit about the tax ramifications of doing a short sale and uh, talk to you a little bit about any credit issues that may arrive when you do a short sale. So from a tax perspective, when uh, you do a short sale, you know, there is a difference that I mentioned in the previous video uh, that you want to get waived, and that's the deficiency. However, uh, whatever that number is, uh, you will get that, and the banks are required to issue what's called a 1099C, which is basically a cancellation of debt. And that's a federal form, and there are some uh, exemptions to uh, to this, so which would relieve you of the burden of having to pay the taxes. There is the Mortgage Debt Relief Act of 2007, and basically, um, you can be relieved of that tax burden if this was your primary residence and you never you didn't pull any money out of the home. Uh, while you lived in it. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't be eligible for the tax relief, uh, tax debt, mortgage debt relief tax act of 2007. However, if whatever money you pulled out, you have to demonstrate that you put it back in to improve the value of the home. So that's one thing. Um, that's, and that's on the federal level. What they did on the state level is they uh, released this year or signed into law this year California Senate Bill 401, and that was passed in early 2010, and that's going to be valid through uh, 2012, end of 2012, as with the federal law. And basically, that's also going to relieve you of the debt, uh, assuming it was your primary residence and you didn't pull any money out of the, house, out of the home while you lived in it to use for other issues. Now, if it's an investment property, there are some things you can do uh, to mitigate or remove any tax debt. However, the main ones that people are using these days are to prove insolvency, which basically you add up all your debts and add up all your assets. And if the debts outweigh the assets, you can be deemed insolvent. And in those cases, you can, in some cases, uh, kind of move away from having that tax burden. And the other issue is a bankruptcy. Um, in any and all of these cases, uh, as I mentioned in previous email uh, uh, videos, is we recommend you speak to uh, CPA so you understand the tax ramifications of a short sale, and a real estate attorney or a tax attorney so you really understand exactly what it is that you're signing up for. Tax laws change. Um, Congress uh, votes in um, new new laws and legislature all the time, and it's good to talk to someone at the moment that you're making your decision. Now, there are some credit implications to doing a short sale. Basically, it will damage your credit. Um, every case is different, and a lot depends on your credit history, but we've seen uh, people who've had a, as low as a 50-point hit to the credit and as high as a 250-point hit to their credit. So it really has to do with your specific situation and your credit history. Um, also, if you have one or two loans on a property, um, for each loan that you have on the property, that's a separate hit to your credit report. Uh, if you're current on your payments or not, for every loan that you're late, those are uh, delinquent payments. So let's say, for instance, you have a first and a second, and you're 90 days late on both. That means that you have those delinquencies for times two, basically, because it's two loans. Uh, those are things that would affect your credit. Also is the amount of credit you have. If you have a, a very long uh, credit history that's that's stellar, uh, you'll have less of an effect on your credit as opposed to someone who has very little credit history and this is a, a big deal for them. Um, another question we get was, um, or is, how long does it take to get or rebuild my credit? And again, it depends purely on your credit history and uh, each case is different. Uh, the positive side to a short sale, however, is that if you uh, go the foreclosure route, um, it can affect your ability to um, to get a job in the, the, the government sector. Um, the other thing is if, uh, Fannie Mae, uh, if you do a foreclosure, you're basically saying you're not going to be looking at any Fannie Mae loans for probably seven years or so. If you do a short sale, uh, we've seen some situations where and it's as little as two years that people are actually out able to get another another Fannie Mae uh, loan. But what we always recommend you do, again, is uh, talk to a professional who, who helps with credit and there are credit repair specialists everywhere. Um, 
and we recommend you talk to them and see what you can do to repair your credit after a short sale. In most cases though, uh, we find that doing the short sale route has less and is less detrimental to your credit as opposed to a foreclosure. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.